Hello, I'm Dr. Sandra Freyhofer, liaison to ACIP, the CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. Welcome to the American College of Physicians 2024 Adult Immunization Video Series. The topic highlights of ACIP's 2024 Adult Immunization Schedule, published in the Annals of Internal Medicine. Each year, ACIP summarizes its current recommendations in one easy-to-use reference. This year's schedule has been upsized with new vaccines and new color codes. Color key legends have also been changed and refined. The schedule now has five steps for using it rather than just four. And here's a teaser. The new step five called the addendum closes a loophole which should make ACA compliant insurance plans cover ACIP recommended immunizations much sooner. We'll talk more about that later. So with that as a preview, let's get started. The intro page showcases vaccine by name, alphabetically with their abbreviations. Trade names are also included for identification purposes only. Vaccines for RSV, MPOX, and a new MEN ACWY MEN B combo vaccine are new on the list. The schedule's intro page has links to many helpful resources, including vaccine information statements, complete ACIP recommendations, as well as a link to CDC's general best practice guidelines for immunizations. Also, if you need to report a clinically significant adverse event to VAERS, CDC's Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System, there's a link to do that too. There's a link to download CDC's vaccine app. You can scan the QR code for quick and easy access to the schedule online. So that's the intro page. Now for the color codes. The legends have changed since 2023 and the color code keys are not the same for Table 1 and Table 2. This is also new and can take some getting used to. Yellow on Table 1 means it's recommended for adults who meet age requirement. That hasn't changed. But for Yellow on Table 2, the age requirement phrase has been dropped. The legend for Purple on Table 1 is the same as 2023. Recommended for adults with an additional risk factor or another indication. But for Table 2, Purple has been changed to not recommended for all, but is recommended for some. Blue for shared clinical decision making means you and your patient have to discuss and decide. The color brown is new and it's only on table two. Brown means recommended for all adults and additional doses may be necessary. Orange for precaution remains the same. Red still means contraindicated or not recommended. Red with an asterisk means vaccinate after pregnancy if indicated. The legend for gray has been slightly refined. It's still no recommendation or not applicable for table one, but on table two, no recommendation has been changed to no guidance. So now that we have the new color code straight, let's start with the tables and refer to the notes. The tables and the notes are meant to be used together. Vaccine order is the same on both tables with new rows for RSV and MPOX vaccines. Please note the two solid yellow rows at the top of both tables. A dose of both the updated COVID vaccine and annual flu vaccination are recommended for everyone six months and older. The yellow on both tables indicates all adults need both of them. Table one is vaccinations by age. The row for RSV vaccines is purple for adults up to age 50. Purple indicates an additional risk factor, pregnancy. The overlay says seasonal administration during pregnancy. See notes, let's do. There are two RSV vaccines. They're identified by trade name for clarity. Orexv contains an adjuvant, a Brisevo does not. The note explains only a breeze vote, the vaccine without the adjuvant can be given to pregnant people only at 32 to 36 weeks and only to those whose baby would be born during RSV season. That's why the notes say, give it January through September. From age 50 to 60, the bar is gray, meaning there is no guidance for this age group. I guess you could be pregnant after 50, but 
that would be sort of unusual. At age 60, the RSV bar turns blue, which indicates ACIP recommends it for adults 60 and older under shared clinical decision-making. The notes even link to additional guidance for making that decision. The MPOX bar at the bottom of the table is all purple, meaning all adults in any age group at increased risk of getting MPOX should get the vaccine. The MPOX vaccine notes include a list of risk factors. Let's move on to table two, vaccinations by medical conditions or other indications. Table two has many changes, including new color adjustments. Some of the changes have been made by graphic designers to make the schedule more visually appealing. But if you're trying to compare the new 2024 table two to last year's version, here's a heads up. The order of and conditions covered in the columns on table two have been switched up. The same headings are there, but reorganized. The 2024 Table 2 looks simpler and sleek. Much of the wording on overlays has been removed or just says, see notes. Having fewer words on the tables does simplify the look, but I have to say, I sort of miss that high level commentary appearing on the tables. The new color brown appears on Table 2. Brown highlights groups and conditions that need recurrent revaccination. Tdap is recommended in each and every pregnancy at 27 to 36 weeks. Patients with HIV need revaccination with men ACWY every five years. Those with asplenia and or complement deficiency need both men ACWY every five years and men B revaccination every two to three years. Also, after stem cell transplant, a three dose Hib vaccination series is needed. The Table 2 legends for yellow and purple have changed. That's why Table 2 presents the same vaccine information in a somewhat different way. That's why some of what used to be yellow on last year's 2023 schedule is now purple, and why some of what was purple in 2023 is now gray, meaning no guidance are not applicable. Understand the vaccination recommendations themselves have not changed, the change is what the Table 2 colors now mean. On Table 2, the new RSV vaccine row in the pregnancy column is yellow for recommended, with this overlay that says Seasonal Administration, see notes. The rest of the row for the other conditions is blue for shared clinical decision making, but also with several see notes overlays. The notes contain a list of risk factors for severe RSV infections, which include immunocompromising conditions, heart disease, lung disease, kidney disease, chronic liver disease, and diabetes. The new MPOX row at the bottom of Table 2 is next. It's purple with overlays of C notes in the columns for pregnancy, men who have sex with men, and healthcare personnel. Let's take a look and see at the notes. The note specified two doses of MPOX vaccine given 28 days apart as recommended for anyone at risk. For pregnant people, the notes say there is no ACIP recommendation, but pregnant persons with a risk factor may receive it. Men who have sex with men are on the list of MPOX risk factors. The notes also clarify healthcare personnel without sexual risk factors should not receive it except in rare circumstances. Here's more that's new about the notes. They're prefaced with a link to the child and adolescent schedule. A new additional information section in the notes contains some housekeeping items. It specifies a dash in age ranges means through, not to. So now you know. There's a link to travel vaccination requirements and to best practices guidelines for vaccinating those with immunodeficiency. There's also a link to the National Vaccine Injury Compensation Program for resolving any vaccine injury claims. The notes are vaccine specific with new clarifying editorial changes throughout. They're also very concise. And if you need more details, the schedule links to full ACIP recommendations. The notes are in alphabetical order. COVID vaccines are listed first. Recommendations for the updated 2023-2024 COVID vaccine are specified. Details for those with immunocompromising conditions are highlighted by a double asterisk. 
In addition to the meningococcal vaccine note, discusses the new pentavalent men ACWY men B combo vaccine, brand name Penbria. Remember, there are two men B vaccines, brand names Bexero and Trumemba. They are not interchangeable. The type of men B in this combo vaccine is men B FHPP, the same as in brand name Trumemba. The notes stipulate when this new five-in-one meningococcal vaccine can be used, so read it carefully. Step four is the appendix with vaccine-specific contraindications and precautions. Be sure to check them. And finally, step five, the addendum, which is making its debut on this 2024 schedule. ACIP recommendations made since October 2023 and adopted by the CDC director will be listed here. Here's why. Vaccination coverage by insurance companies is tied to ACIP immunization schedules. There have been reports of insurance companies not reimbursing for administered vaccines because the vaccines weren't formally incorporated into the schedules. This new addendum provides a way to add newly approved vaccines to the schedule in real time instead of having to wait for next year's schedule. This addendum closes a loophole and starts the time clock for insurance coverage. This means ACA compliant insurance plans will cover ACIP recommended immunizations sooner. And in my opinion, this new addendum is absolutely brilliant. So there you have it, a summary of highlights and changes in the 2024 adult immunization schedule. I hope this review has been helpful. And remember, CDC would like to hear from you. So please use the link on the intro page to comment on this new format. For the American College of Physicians, I'm Dr. Sandra Freihofer.